Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Stormworks Build and Rescue video. Today we are taking a little bit... Blah, blah, blah. Today we are taking a little bit of a break from the Frantico Oil Tanker series and we are going to go ahead and uh, test out some vehicles, or at least a vehicle, and that is this thing right here. Uh, this is actually called the Vulture, which is a scrap collection ship. Um, yeah, it's a spaceship, it looks amazing. We're going to go ahead and uh, take off with this thing from the helicopter base and... Um, yeah, we're gonna fly it around. Now, I want to do a disclaimer. You can't actually spawn this thing in here. I have used the mission to spawn it in here. Uh, I just really like this island, so that's why we're here. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up this. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get inside, and uh, we're gonna fly it around, and um, maybe even do a mission with it. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and jump inside, shall we? Here we go, yes, uh, and go ahead and push this button. It should close the door, uh, which is awesome, and we need to figure out where the lights are. Uh, because there should be a light button or a light switch in here. Uh, lock door, kill pris- What? Lock door or kill prisoner? You can actually put a prisoner in there and kill them. That ain't it. That's not right. Um, we need to figure out how to do the lights. Uh, because the lights are kind of important back here. So, um, let's figure that out. Let's go this way. Uh, we'll go up into the top and presumably this is where the cockpit is. Yes, it is. Uh, and yeah, we'll be good. I don't know if there's any instructions on this thing. Um... But yeah, so let's get in the front. Yes, we got engage systems. All right, cool. And then we should be able to just fly. That's it. That's it. Easy peasy. Press one for the landing gear. All right, we've pressed one. All right, press one again, maybe. There we go. All right, awesome. That's closed. The doors close. The rear ones just go up and that's fine. And there we go. We're flying. Nice. Alright, so we do actually have overdrive. Let's go ahead and turn that on. Overdrive appears to just be three jet engines on each side. That's awesome. Uh, and then five to engage them. Alright, and off we go. We're flying forwards. That is awesome. Press two for lights. Okay, so there's a bunch of lights in the middle right here. Awesome. Uh, and then we got three for floodlights, which um, are on the front right there. Alright, cool. Yeah. This is amazing. Alright, so we do actually have a mission right now. Let's go ahead and turn ourselves around and head towards that mission. Uh, it is just over there, 16 kilometers away. It shouldn't take us long in this thing, especially with our overdrive. Um, yeah, we should be there in no time. Why is that? Is there a ship that sank already? Is that what that is? Uh, that seems to be what that is. That's weird. So, yeah, this ship is actually meant for scrap collection. So, I guess you actually, like, ram things into the middle right there. Uh, and then you sort of, like, carry them from there. But I I'm not entirely sure how we would be able to do that. Uh, I don't know whether we've got a winch anywhere either. So, um, I don't know what we're going to be able to do here. But as soon as we get within, like, range, when we see them, we'll turn our overdrive off. Uh, we'll grab them, and then we'll take them to a hospital. Because that's what they need. Also, helicopter. Oh, no, aeroplane. It's so slow. But it's flying, so that's good. Um, but yeah, it should take us no time to get there. Uh, this is awesome. All right, I've, uh, I've removed the waypoint. Uh, I struggle with speaking sometimes. I've removed the waypoint in order to actually try and find the ship ourselves. Uh, we do obviously have to fly past this thing, which um, should be fine. And I believe that might be our ship that we're going to. Yeah, it must be. So let's go ahead and turn off the overdrive. There we go. Go ahead and turn off the engage for the overdrive. And... Uh, I guess we'll just land. Here we go. We're going to go down. Uh, we're going to descend. And we're going to, I don't know, just figure out these people. Grab them. And take off again. That's essentially all we have to do. But, um, yeah, we need to figure out how we want to get there. So, let's go ahead and... Oh, wow. They've just sent up the flare. The spaceship is already here and they've just sent up the flare. Okay. So, I've been using the wrong controls, but that's okay because I've now figured them out. At least a little bit. Here we go. Let's go down a little bit as well. Okay, awesome. And we're in about the right place. Yeah, this is this is good. This is this is good. There we go. All right, go forward a tiny touch. Lower ourselves down a little bit. Okay, and that's us. All right, jump out. Let's go backwards. Yeah, we got this. Uh, what is that? That's our way down. Yeah. We should be back here. This is good. Uh, right, okay. Open up the door. Boop. Oh, here's the lights. Floodlights and loading lights. I see. Oh. 
We might have just accidentally almost killed everybody on that ship, but that's okay. Uh, right. We've opened up the door. Let's get back in the pilot seat. Uh, fly forwards a little bit. It doesn't want to keep itself in the same place. Uh, all that much, but that's alright, I suppose. Here we go. Turn ourselves around a little bit. Lower ourselves down. So we're pretty much just attached on. And that seems good. Alright, here we go. Run backwards. I want to know what's in there. It's a maintenance hatch. Interesting. Uh, we can grab you. Alright, we've already got one person. Um, so this isn't really a ship for rescuing people. This is a ship for carrying things. So I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work. But if... What the heck just happened to me? Uh, I just bounced that ship away. That was weird. Alright, here we go. Put you on the deck. We've lost a guy underneath. We need to grab you as well. Alright, get on board. Very cool. Uh, we'll position everybody in these seats for now. Um, and I also want to figure out if we can actually carry this boat somehow. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. That's annoying. That's really annoying. But never mind. Alright, there's one more dude in the water over here. Let's go ahead and grab you. Uh, we've got one guy in the ship. We have uh, four guys right here. And I believe we have to rescue six. So let's go ahead and try and figure out where the other guy is. Probably downstairs. Uh, doesn't seem to be in the engine room. Okay. Alright, jump out of here. That's all good. Um, I don't know where the other guy is. Do we have to go forwards to get downstairs? Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, might be in here. Are you in the bedroom? Nope. Okay, are you in here? Alright, we got a dead guy. <laughs> That's interesting. We got a dead guy. How long do we have to rescue this person? Uh, eight minutes. Alright, so we need to get him to a hospital within eight minutes, or we need to defibrillate this guy. I don't know what's going to be the quickest thing, but, um, I'm sure we'll be fine. So... Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to grab all these guys. Um, I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, so we're back inside the ship, and uh, we've obviously got everybody on board. So let's just stand them all up back here. Go ahead and push this button. We'll close up the door. That is awesome sauce. We need to figure out where all these guys can go. So obviously this is for the prisoners. Uh, we could just put all the prisoners in there. Uh, these guys are now our prisoners. Uh, I'm just saying. Rescue turns into, I don't know, some sort of... I don't know. We figured out that these guys are all... All, um, escaped prisoners. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, it could be the case, though, as well. These guys could actually be escaped prisoners. But anyway, go ahead and put them all in there. There we go. Uh, and we might have to murderize all of these people, but we'll see. I'm gonna leave this guy here for right now. We're gonna close that door. Uh, we're gonna go upstairs and grab a defibrillator. We'll rescue this guy. There we go. Uh, we'll grab him, pick him up. Put him inside there with all the other prisoners. There we go. Close it up. Uh, and we've got kill prisoner. Lock the door. All right, they're locked in. Uh, and I guess we'll leave them in there for now. Yeah. All right, so this is literally purely experimental. But um, we've got all the guys on board, obviously. Uh, we're going to have to find ourselves a hospital. We're going to head in that direction, I believe. So let's go up. Uh, we'll start the overdrive. Here we go. And I guess we'll just engage the overdrive straight away. And off we go. Nice. Yeah. Alright, okay, so from what I can actually see, uh, I believe that that is the airport island. That makes sense. We've got the uh, little lighthouse down there. We've got the creative base right there. And then if we head this direction, we should uh, find a hospital, I guess, maybe? Uh, this is the main island, so there is definitely a hospital on there. Uh, we, we just got to find it. Also, there's a box right there. That's got money in it. We don't need money, though, because we're flying a spaceship. So, yeah. We have no necess- well, we got no need for money. Anyway, we're gonna continue flying. Uh, we're gonna get to one of these islands. We need to figure out where we're going. Uh, what's that island over there? That's the little runway thing. That's an AI ship. Uh, we're good. Alright, we need to figure out where we are though. Let's turn right. I believe the hospital base might be this direction. Yeah, somewhere over here. Alright, we got a little bit of wind, we got a little bit of rain. Uh, and this thing is actually dealing with that completely fine, which is awesome. Uh, there's the starter base right there. We don't need that, but we do need the hospital, uh, which is apparently right there. So we're gonna get over there. We're gonna disengage the overdrive, and we're gonna we're gonna land this thing. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully this works, because it might. It also might not. All right, here we go. So we are pretty much there. We need to get to the uh, the helicopter pad, which is just there. Uh, let's go ahead and stop the overdrive. Let's disengage it, and then we'll turn it off as well uh, with four. And then we'll just position ourselves, land ourselves, it's going to be great. Landing gear is going to go down, doors have opened, landing gear is down, we got this. Here we go. 
So, obviously, this thing is a little bit bigger than a normal helicopter. Uh, so, we might be able to land it here. At the same time, we might not be able to. I don't know. <laughs> here we go. We might even have to put it on the beach. We'll see. Uh, but this thing is actually pretty easy to drive. It doesn't like to keep itself in the same place, is one thing I'd like to say. But, um, other than that... Other than that... I think we're good. Yeah. There we go. Go forwards a little bit. And down. Okay, let's turn ourselves around. So the one thing I would say is the controls for me are a little bit wrong. But I think they're right. If that makes any sense at all. Uh, in terms of the left and right and the A and D. Those are the ones that I'm confused. Or confuzzled a little bit with. But you can see that I've I've landed, just not very well. Let me let me take off and turn. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, now we've got it. Alright, land it right here. That's awesome. Uh, we have landed, so I guess we disengage the settings. Um and we're good. Disengage horizontal mode. I don't really know what that means. Anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and go backwards. Uh, we will have a little look on this ship a little bit. Uh, but what I wanted to do was test out the None of the prisoners are in the prisoner room. None of them. All right, hold on. Turn this light on. We got our floodlights. Right, everybody back in. Because you guys shouldn't have escaped. It's against the law to escape prison. There we go. We got three of you in there. All right, four of you. I have a feeling that one of our guys has died and has fallen out. In fact, the guy that we defibrillated is dead. Or oh, somewhere else. I don't know. Anyway, lock door. Kill prisoner. All right, what happens? Oh, wow. This is not right. Are we going to drown them? We're actually going to drown the prisoners. That is... That is not right. That's torture. This shouldn't be a thing. But I love it. Oh, there he is. Alright, well, this guy's already dead, so... I'll just leave you there to watch your friends uh, as they inevitably die. That's not right. That, In fact, that's, that's torture. That's not right at all. <laughs> we just got a little arm poking through the door. What is going on? I love it. Perfect. All right. Well, anyway, since we're at our, our destination, we might as well open up the door. There we go. Awesome. Uh, we'll run back over here and just, um, yeah, these guys are dying, uh, which is interesting. Uh, I'm not going to actually kill them all. We're going to go ahead and stop killing the prisoners, and we're just going to open the door. Here we go. All right. Flood out. There we go. You guys, you guys are all safe. I've, I've, I've made you safe. We're good. There we go. Nice. All right, so we just got to take these guys to hospital, uh, and we are good to go from there. I think we've lost another person. They might be on the roof. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Is the other guy on the roof outside? Because, like, that might be where they are. Is it? Is it where they are? I don't know where they are. We've lost a person. We have, in fact, lost a person. That's not good. <laughs> I honestly don't know where they are. Are they upstairs? Let's have a little look. Did they make it upstairs? They're not in here. Okay, are they in the maintenance hatch? No. We can get on the roof from up here, but no, they're not here. I don't know where they are. We've lost a person. We've lost an entire person. All right, well, anyway, that doesn't bother me because uh, we were going to kill them all anyway. So uh, let's go ahead and get all of these people that we do have over to the, uh, the hospital. We'll drop them off and uh, then we'll be out of here. So open this up. Get them inside. Put them in the bed. There we go. Uh, and you're all delivered. So please stop following me. Great. Good. Yeah. Doctor, you take care of those guys. Uh, I'm going to just go check, see if I can find the other person. They are not in here. Um, so yeah. I don't know where they are. <laughs> Some guy has actually disappeared off our ship. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, we are totally ready to go. What is this? What is this? Screen? Okay, it folds down from the roof. Uh, lock position, infrared, laser on. So this is actually our camera. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. But not necessary. So let's take off. And um, get out of here. Wait, we need to engage the systems. There we go. All right, off we go. Off we go. So what happens if we do this? That disengages horizontal mode. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I don't know what that means. So yeah, there you go.
All right, we're starting the overdrive. We're gonna go ahead and uh, plow this thing into a ship or something, because that sounds like fun. So, uh, let's do it. Let's find a ship and uh, we'll ram it. <laughs> we'll ram a ship. Whoa, what is going on? What is going on? We've lost our overdrive. We've lost everything. We've lost everything. Emergency breakers on. We lost, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Oh, is this horizontal mode? Uh-oh. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we've lost control of the spaceship. We have a problem. We have a problem. I might ditch it. I might ditch it. I think we've got an issue. I feel like we got an issue. What just happened? All right, I'm getting out. <laughs> I'm getting out of this thing before it sinks. Uh, I'm grabbing things that I need, uh, like this. All right, and like this. All right, I'm going. I'm going. I'm jumping out. Hot diggity dog. All right, we're jumping. See you later. Whee! It might not even fall out the sky. Uh, that's the realization I've just come to, but um, it, it it had issues. It definitely had issues, but now we have issues. We're just sat in the middle of the ocean. Uh, sharks could come and eat us. Megalodons could come and eat us. We could just drown. We could just get too cold. We're, we're gonna die. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Uh, if you guys do wanna check that thing out, it will be linked in the description down below. Um, and yeah, so will, so will my Twitter. And my Discord. So uh, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, um, that would be cool. And if you guys want to join my Discord, it's also linked down below. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.